right? We're the original terrorists. I actually hate that word. I'm going to use the T word, like because of the nature of U.S. imperialism and the Indian Wars. Like there's a reason why most of the military, like Geronimo is the name um, or indigenous people are the names for a lot of the military um, technology and apparatus of the U.S. military. Yeah. Anyone who has ever resisted U.S. colonialism and imperialism has been deemed the T word in the image of the Indian. Jody Bird writes about this very brilliantly um, in her book, The Transitive Empire. But yeah, that I I was actually trying to think about the genealogy of the T word um, because it's just come back with such a vengeance in this moment. And I actually haven't seen that word being utilized to justify genocide and like this level of state violence in maybe since 9-11, I would say, um, in about 20 years, at least in the United States, just the warmongering. Um, and the moment you trigger that word, it just opens up the reign of hell <laughs> on anyone who can be labeled that way. And it's important for people to understand that at least in the United States, you know, the the origin of that term or the notion of an insurgent or an enemy of the state started with indigenous people who resisted U.S. occupation and resisted settlement and resisted U.S. colonization. And since then, every population, every group, every nation that can be deemed as against the interests of settler colonialism or as against the interests of the United States has been fashioned as an Indian, as an insurgent, as an enemy of the state. And so this is also why we have this position and we speak from this place, you know, as native people in the OG settler colony, you know, the United States, because we understand where that term comes from. And native people have always been deemed that they've always been deemed an enemy of the state. Um, when we have protected our lands and our waters and we have refused, we just have simply refused to leave our lands or we've resisted settler colonialism.